hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today we'll be doing a tutorial on the cow neck dress i wore this outfit to church yesterday and i received a lot of compliments so i'll be taking you through the cutting process and the sewing process of this beautiful cow neck top please do not forget to like this video if you enjoy what you see and subscribe to my channel if you are yet to so i'm making a top actually a cow neck top and it should be a free top without zip so because it is a free top i would like to do some alterations remember this is our pattern that we did in our last video so you can check out the video to know how we came about what this pattern i'll be doing some alterations to get the pattern i want to use what for my cow neck top so this is my first pattern i have a plain sheet here i'll place it on it and ensure that the center aligns then i'll pin it down So because I'm making what a free top, I'll be adding two inches allowance to my sides, two inches to what to my sides only. But on my waist, remember that if the, we are we added waist that, which means I've added one inch allowance to the waist already. So instead of adding two inches, I'll be adding one inch since I'll not be taking that on my cow top. So I'll not be taking that on the cow neck top. So I'll just add what one inch. So plus this that allowance that has already been added to make it what two inch allowance. And for my bust, I also had what two inch. And I'll connect. I'll be adding 0 0.5 inch here for my hormone allowance and 0 0.5 inch for my shoulder allowance so for my neck area i'll be doing what um the neck for the back because i want to use this to cut my back and it's also what cut my foot because i'll be using it to cut my back first i'll be doing just what my neckline for the back the first thing I'll do is to work, get a straight line from here to here. Then for me, I'll measure what I want. I want to take in what? 1.5 inch for my back. So this is what my new pattern. You can see that I did not add um, allowance to my hem. That is because I want my top to be what 23 inches, but this pattern is was 24 inches. So, so automatically it has was one inch allowance already for my hem. But if you want to add hem or you want your long your top to be longer, you can decide to add your hem allowance to it either on the fabric on the paper. I mean, or you add it on your fabric when you're about to cut. So this right here is what I'll be using what to cut what this is what I'll be using to what to cut my cow neck top and also the front and the back pattern. But I want to indicate I want to indicate some lines so I will know. I so this is what I'll be using was to cut what cut my cow neck top. So I want to cut my back now. This is a Duchess fabric and it is on fold. And this is my uh, paper, pattern paper. So I'll be cutting what my back pattern now. This is my back pattern. So this is my paper. Now I have to cut what my front pattern. So the first thing I'll be doing is what to adjust what my neckline first. Not to adjust what my neckline. So remember it was 1.5 I had it here. So I'll be adding, I'll be going down again by another 1.5. So that will make it that I went down by what by three inches. 
It's not necessary I cut it out. I just want to cut it out so I won't confuse you. So now this is for my front pattern. So for the cow neck, I'll be using what the slash and spread method. So I'll be slashing and spreading. And I want to have a three slash. I have one at the midpoint of my shoulder, have one at the midpoint of my arm hole, then I have one on this edge of my arm hole. For where they'll be meeting now, I'll be going down by 2.5 inch. I use 2.5 here. 2.5 here. And 2.5 here. So I'll be connecting now, connecting this place to here, this to this place, and this place to this place. Please know that me using a French cuff here is just me being dramatic. You can actually use a straight ruler and just draw a straight line. It's not compulsory, it's coffee. So your cow neck will still come out beautiful. So I'll be cutting open now. Yeah, yeah, I'll be cutting open. So you can decide you want yours to go lower to get to for the fold to get to this place, your choice. I think I want to add one more fold. Let me add one more fold. That's from here. I'll go down by, I'm going down by two inches. So when cutting, ensure you do not cut to the edge. You leave like 0 0.25. So I've slashed it. I'll be spreading it out on my fabric. So when you want to drape your cow neck, for you to get the depth, how open you want the cow neck to be? How open you want it to come down? Do you want it to be up? You want it to be center? So you have to drape your taper on it. From here, I'm sure you are holding it down to this place. So for this, I have 20. So I'll be showing you how we'll be using this measurement on it. So this is how low your cow neck will be open. But if you want it to be more, you can increase. So from here to here, we'll tell you what, how low it will be. Maybe someone that wants it to be high a bit can measure this like this. So this is my front pattern. Now to cut out what's my front pattern. So I could decide to do it like this, that now I line the center to the center, then I start spreading. So when you spread and you have something like this, please just ignore it. Just ignore it. You can spread. So it's possible your part can come out like this, so you just ignore it. So but because I want more fullness, I won't let it be straight like this. I'll be making a curve like this. Can you see that? So I can decide to make it fuller like this, but I just stop here. So I'll be making a cuff like this. Now pin it. That so before I start spreading now, remember I showed you on our manicure how to measure the opening of our cleavage. So I want this place to be what 10.5 opened. 10.5. That is the measurement I got after draping on my neck. So I divided it by two. So this is my 10.5 opening. So when you want um, it to expose more cleavage, you can increase it and spread it as much as you want. So now to spread what this middle is open. So for this down part, I'll be using, for this place, I'll be using two inches. And the remaining ones I'll be using was 1.5 inch. So this is it. So I've got a straight line from here to here. I'll get a straight line from here to here. I'll be connecting from here to here. So, but because I don't want to cut out my facing separately, all my facing to be together with the fabric. So I'll just go up here from this place that I measured. 
this measure i'll go up so from this place that i marked i'll go up by what eight inches you can use lesser than you can use more than your choice then i'll rule a straight line So I'll cut it out. So this is what I have. So what I'll be doing next is to fold. I'll fold this in like this. Ensure your center aligns. So this is what I have. So you can see I folded him. Now I'll cut out what my pattern. Now I'll cut out my pattern. So I've cut out. This is what I have. This you can see. So I notched this shoulder area for me to know where my shoulder is starting from. So this already have what the facing. So this is what I have. So the next thing I'll cut in facing for. I'll be cutting facing for my back. Then I'll show you how to sew it together. To cut facing for my back. So measure four inch here. My arm will be So also measure here. Make sure it is four inch. Okay, so now I'll do it. I'll cut out. So I'll be turning my neckline first. So I'm turning on 0 0.25 inch. I've sewn. The next thing I'll be doing is what is to notch it. I'll be notching it. Then I'll top stitch on it. I'll be opening up like this. Then I'll top stitch. But my top stitch should be falling on my facing side. Remember how I did her peplum then? We watched her peplum class. So I'll be top stitching on this side, not on my fabric main side. I'll be top stitching on, on my facing side. So this is it. Top stitch on this side. So I'll weave my so I'll weave my facing or you tore with bias, you can do any of the two. I actually be weaving it, but not now. So I'll high on my neck. I'll high on it. Then I'll join my front pattern to my back pattern. So I'll be joining both together. So I've high on this is my back. Yeah. This is the facing area. My front pattern. My front pattern. I'll be adding it was to my back pattern. But before I do that. How to high on like this and from the wrong side. This is the right side. So how to high on like this. Remember the extra we added for the facing. 
Salt so iron it out to create a crease line here. So I'll know where my facing is starting from. I'll create a crease line here. So I'll know where my facing is starting from. So I've hired. This is my facing and this is my main fabric. So I want to join with my back to the front. So remember this is my shoulder for my front. This is my facing now. So this is where my pattern is starting from. So this is my shoulder. This is my shoulder. This is my shoulder for my facing also. So normally when we want to fix our normal clothes now, that is not a cow neck. We know that we fix what? Shoulder to shoulder. So now I'll be fixing this shoulder here. inside here you can see right side facing right side the right side facing the right side so i'll be fixing the shoulder yeah now the shoulder for the facing also i'll put it in then i'll put my facing now so as i hired my facing now then i'll put it on it also like this then I'll sew the four together then I'll sew the four together so this is my facing for my front facing for my back my main back fabric and my front fabric so I'll be joining everything together now this is my back inside the front main fabric and the front facing so my back shoulder is what inside it so the same way i did for this that is what i'll do for this side so this is it So now my cow neck is already taking shape. Let's see that. So the next thing I'll be doing. So you might notice your hand hole. So you can trim it off to have what the same what size for your hand hole. And see that the back is what shorter than the front. So trim it to have the same um, shoulder length. To so trim this excess off. So this is it. Shoulders are lined now. So the next thing I'll be doing what is to what fix my sleeve. I'll fix my sleeve for my hammer. I like fixing my sleeve for most times before joining the sides. So after I fix my sleeve, I'll now join the sides together. So this is my basic sleeve. I have a video now I redrafted it. So I slashed the center. Because I want this, um, the hedge to have a flay, which I will gather. So I'll be spreading it open here. So I had it two inches here. Because I want this damper to have this puffiness. You see it when I finish sewing. Yeah. So remember on my basic bodies, I actually added... Two inches to so have a free top, but this armor now is my normal armor, so I have to add two inches. But instead of adding two inches now, I'll be adding 1.5 inch to this place. So I'll be connecting from here to the edge here. So this is what I'll be cutting out. For my sleeves, I first want to create a casing at this edge for my 
elastic. I want to create a case in here. So I'll be using bias for it. I'll be using a bias to create what a casing on this edge. So this is my sleeve. I've turned the down parts. I create a casing where I'll put in what? My elastic. So I'm putting in my elastic into this place. To this place. So I want to fix now. So I'll first pin it up. So I'll pin it round. After which I'll take to the sewing machine and so So I'll fix for this place also. Then I will insert my elastic. After I've inserted my elastic, I will now join. I'll be joining from here. Use my sleeve down. Down. This is where my sleeves end ended. This is my arm. This is where my arm is starting from. Then I'll join my sides together. I'll be joining it using one inch seam allowance. So I'm joining on one inch. Now I've joined my sides. I've inserted my elastic and I've sewn the hem of my top. And my top is ready. What do you think about this beautiful top? It's so nice. So nice. So nice. Yeah, I love it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like this video and share this channel with others. Let people subscribe to the channel. This channel cannot grow without you. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Bye.